Hey guys, what's up? Today is the start of a new series called Makeup Mondays. I absolutely love hair, especially curly hair, but I also love makeup. Makeup is a passion of mine and I miss it. I miss bringing you guys a few makeup videos here and there. So I thought, you know what? How can I incorporate makeup on my channel? Even though I know the majority of you guys watch me for the hair tutorials, hair videos, that's fantastic. Keep watching, stay tuned because I will continue to put out that content as well. I really wanted to get back to doing some makeup videos. So I know I look a little crazy today because I just threw my hair up in a little messy bun and I wanna jump into some makeup right now. I actually did a little Ulta haul. I hadn't been to Ulta in a while. You know, makeup has become a little bit overwhelming because there's so much makeup that it's so hard to keep up with. So I tried to kind of avoid going to alter because I just I get very overwhelmed but I can't help myself because I am addicted to makeup I love it I love everything about it I love colors I love eyeshadows I love everything so I went to Ulta I did it and I want to show you guys what I got but I didn't want to do just a regular haul and just showing you guys what I purchased I want to actually put the products on my face just to kind of see like how they work. I enjoy watching these on other people's channels, seeing how the products kind of work. I just want to show you what I got and show you how they kind of perform. So that's what we're doing today. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos on my channel. So if you guys wanna see exactly what I got and how it performs on my face, then just keep watching. So to start off, I wanna show you guys this brush that I got. I am so excited. I love IT Cosmetics brushes. I'm a huge fan. They last so long and they don't shed and they're really, really good. So I have seen Kathleen Lights use a lot of the IT Cosmetics like heart style brushes. I have looked for the heart brushes and I know they're all limited edition so I can't ever find them, but I went in today and I found this one. And how cute. It's a star, you guys. It Cosmetics Limited Edition You're A Star Multitasking Foundation Brush. And I also picked up a Morphe sponge. I have used their sponges for the longest time, but this is the one that I have been currently using. And I really wanted to get the one that has like the sharp edge. So I'm going to open this up, go wet it, and we're gonna get started with some foundation. Before I use this brand new brush, you definitely want to clean your brushes and I am out of my regular cleaning solution. This is what I normally use, the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I picked up this. This is the IT Cosmetics Brush Bath Purifying Brush Cleaner. This is um, an instant quick drying formula, just like the Cinema Secrets. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit and just clean it off really good before I use this on my face. We're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Warm Nude Foundation. This is one of my all time favorite, favorite foundations. Go in with a little bit of this and we are just going to start applying this with the brush and see how it works. I'm trying to get back into using foundation brushes just to make the process a little bit quicker. This brush is actually blending my foundation in so smooth, so quickly. Definitely loving this brush. Now I understand why Kathleen Lights is like obsessed. This is like the only kind of brushes she uses for foundation. Look at that. And it's so quick. And then I always like to take a beauty blender and kind of push everything in just to make sure that there's no uh, brush strokes if I do use a brush and I mean to be honest there is no brush strokes but you know in my mind I just feel like this will make me feel a little better. Something else that I got from Ulta is Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Normally I would go in first with a moisturizer but I had already put on a moisturizer before I started this video and I kind of forgot that I purchased this. We're gonna go into some concealer and I actually picked up two different concealers. This first one is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the matte version, which I thought was the same one that I have used in the past. This one has like a matte cap to it, whereas this one is shiny. I don't know how a matte formula will do for me. My bad, I might've picked up the wrong kind. I also picked up 
This one from Milani. This is the Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation used to be my absolute favorite foundation from the drugstore. I was obsessed with it. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try this. And I'm going in with Light Natural 125 is the number. I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender from Morphe and just press that in. Okay, so that concealer dries down so fast. I'm having a hard time blending it out. It looks very dry under my eyes. I kind of feel like it's already creasing on me a little bit. I, I don't know. All right, so before I powder, I am gonna use a cream blush. I purchased this one at Ulta today, and this is the ColourPop Blush Sticks Blush. I've been wanting to get on board with doing more cream blush because it does look so pretty and natural on the skin. I picked up the shade called 25.8. I guess that's a playoff of like 24-7. We are just gonna add a little bit of this to the cheeks, and I'm just gonna use my finger. Very natural. I'm gonna get a little flat top brush and just kind of wipe that on there and See if we can kind of build this up. Oh yeah, there we go. This has a little bit of like a glow to it as well. Really, really enjoying that. The next thing I purchased is a brow kit. It comes with so much stuff in this kit and it was on sale for like $59. And here is the kit, Miss Desi Perkins Balm ASS Brows. I don't care, so you know, I had to spell it out for y'all. It comes with the Precisely My Brow, the Cabrow Foolproof Brow Powder, 24 hour brow setter, and then a spoolie that also has a little angle brush on the other side. Ooh, it comes with a nice little mirror. Here is all of your items. I might just kind of speed through this so that we can get through the brows. <laughs> Like brows are always a struggle but I do love all of those products but my under eyes have creased so much already I, I haven't even really been like doing any facial expressions so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and actually go ahead and set my face as well I did purchase a couple of eyeshadow palettes like I need any more eyeshadow, but these are the two that I decided to purchase. So the first one is the BH Cosmetics Opalescent Eyeshadow Palette. I did some swatches in store and these were just, they were stunning. And then the other one that I got is from ColourPop. This is the Sweet Talk pressed powder palette. Here is what this palette looks like. The reason that I decided to purchase these two is because I love both of their formulas. What do I wanna use? What do I wanna use? I think I'm gonna try this one today. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Dainty. this palette. This palette is so, so pretty. The colors are very pigmented, very blendable, and there's so many looks that you can do with that palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my face because I don't have anything else for the face. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bronzer, put a little extra blush on, and then we'll come back for lashes and lips. <laughs> I did not purchase 
purchase a mascara at Ulta, but because of everything I got, I actually ended up getting this little mini one for free. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which I do like. It's not my favorite, but we're gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. It just makes my lashes look a little bit like a little bit clumpy. So I have a few more things that I got from Ulta. This one I won't be using today, but it is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I have no idea where mine went during the move, so I definitely needed to get a new one of these. Then I also got two Morphe setting sprays. This is just like my absolute favorite setting spray. I got the ones that are in the pink can because pink is my favorite color. I did get a few lippies today. I have always been obsessed with Buxom lip glosses. I had just pulled out an old one and I remembered how much I loved it. So I ended up getting three more shades. The first two are their plumping lip creams and then I also got one of their full on lip cream. I got peach daiquiri and blushing margarita. This one is blushing margarita and if you can see this little peach color over here is peach daiquiri. The last one I got is in Serena. It has got the most beautiful flecks of glitter I just thought for fall it's just gonna be so pretty and this is that shade right there how gorgeous is that I think the one that I'm gonna use today is this one right here because it kind of goes with the whole look I am gonna go in with a lip liner first I'm gonna go in with this lip cheat pencil by Charlotte Tilbury this is in the shade pillow talk and I'm just gonna line my lips and fill them in with this first Now I'm going to go ahead and top it with Blushing Margarita. Oh, I love these so much. I mean, I die. That is it. Oh, no it's not. No it's not. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my new pink Morphe setting spray. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I did not know that this smells like strawberries. That was such a pleasant surprise. That smells so good. I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of highlight because, you know, why not? I did not buy a new highlight today. I'm gonna use one that I have on hand, and this is actually a new product from CoverGirl that they sent me, but I did not purchase it. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow um, Highlight. They have several different shades, so here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These highlights might be, might be my favorite from the drugstore right now. This one is in the shade Pearl Crush, which it's my favorite one, but they also have this one in Rose Quartz. This one, which is Gilded Glory. So this one is Rose Quartz and then Gilded Glory. They're both super pretty. That is all of the things that I got from Ulta. And this is the look that I got out of the products that I purchased today. If you like the more like try on haul videos with makeup, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I mean, I think pretty much they're all winners except for the concealer. I'm not sold on the concealer yet. Now that it's been set, it is looking much better, but I'll have to see how it wears throughout the day. I need to try the ColourPop concealer and then also still need to test out this palette. If you guys want to see me use this palette in a video, let me know. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.